What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Curtis, aka Flex, coming to you with week nine of my 531 program. Today is actually featuring the deadlifts. Today is actually Monday, March the 20th, uh, first day of spring. So, happy spring. Hopefully, we can get some sunshine and uh, really get uh, everything blooming again because, as you know, spring is uh, when all things start blooming. We get some more greener grasses and flowers and everything, etc. etc. So, just take a look at this video, see what I did today, and I'll get back to you when I'm finished. Hey guys, and welcome to uh, week 9 of my 531 program. Today's uh, gonna be featuring the deadlifts, as uh, I said in the beginning credits there. Uh, as you know, uh, I usually work out at a, at a gym that's on my direction to work, but today, like last time, uh, I'm off. So I went to this uh, gym that's a little closer to my apartment. And uh, as you can see, I'm using bumper plates. I've never used bumper plates before, but it's uh, pretty cool uh, to use. So as you usually know, I start off warming up with uh, 135 on the bar. I did that for eight reps. Then I went to 225 and did that for another six reps. And then afterwards I went to uh, doing uh, 315 and I did that for another six reps. And then I started going into my uh, working sets and uh, for today, uh, or for this week, I'm supposed to do 70, 80, and 90% of my one rep max. Now for the 70%, uh, percent, I was supposed to do uh, 327.6 pounds, but I rounded it up to uh, 330. And uh, I did that for the, it's supposed to be three reps that I was requiring, but I did it for four reps. Then I moved up to the 80%, which is supposed to be 374.4 pounds. And uh, I did that for another four reps, but it only required three. And uh, I rounded that up to 375, by the way. And then I went up to uh, 421.2 pounds, which is the 90%. And I, it required me to do three plus. Uh, and I did five reps. And I rounded that down, actually, to 420. Now, from the last time I was telling you guys, uh, I wanted to incorporate more of uh, the sumo deadlifts into my workouts. So what I did was uh, I I took off the weights off of doing the, just doing those deadlifts, and I did. I uh, started off at 225 pounds instead of the 135 because I was already warm, and I did that for another six reps. Well, then I went up to uh, 315. And I did that for another seven reps. And then I finished it off with doing uh, 405 pounds. And I repped out, out for as many as I could because I was already burnt out for another five reps. Then afterwards, I uh, started doing some uh, pull-ups. And uh, what I did is uh, I did it with a program that I'll actually link the program or put the uh, name of the program in the description. And what it required me to do is... Uh, five reps and then take a break then f another five reps and take a break then four reps take a break four reps and then another four reps and then take a break uh i didn't get, do exactly the four reps but what i did is i did like uh six to seven you know just to start training myself and just try to get a, a you know wider back and, it, and the wider back ultimately gets you but not only just better deadlifts it actually helps you in your bench press too so this is what i've been trying to do uh recently to improve my pull-ups and my back strength now just like i was saying about with the pull-ups uh i'm trying to develop my back a little bit more or get my back a little bit more stronger and not only the back but the shoulders and traps so what i did afterwards i did in the same uh, you know any kind of rack or squat rack i went into doing uh barbell uh shrugs and uh i started off with uh 135 didn't want to use too much weight and just actually concentrate on the mind muscle collection and actually squeezing properly on every every uh rep so i started off with the 135 and did that for 10 to 12 reps again making sure i do like pause reps or make sure i hold the actual uh rep and then i went up to uh 225 and I did the same for another 10 to 12 reps uh, so again I'm just trying to develop my back a little bit more and uh, you know get a little bit more strength in it and then afterwards to finish it off I went into doing the um, behind the back uh, uh, 
hammer strength row. And uh, for for these, I don't have this in my uh, regular gym or the gym I normally go to when I'm going to the to work. So I, I took advantage of using this machine. And uh, as you can see, it really uh, does develop your lats and in your and your mid back. Uh, and like I was saying, I didn't want to use too much weight. I really wanted to uh, concentrate on just getting that real mind muscle connection and uh, squeezing and holding it on every rep. And uh, what I did for this is I just put 90. I started off with 135, and then I just put uh, 90 or not 135. I used uh, one, uh, 45 on each side, and then I went up to uh, putting 90 on each side and just again making sure I squeeze on every rep. So. You know, if you're trying to build up your bench press and your deadlifts, trying to develop your back is uh, one of the best ways to get it started. All right, you guys, as you can see today, I didn't really do too much uh, uh, bicep work to go with my deadlifts today. I concentrated more on just my back work. I actually did do some uh, running the rack, uh, which is the bicep curls going down from 40 pounds down to uh, 5 pounds but I didn't want to record that because you know I didn't want to take up too much of you guys' time if you want to actually see the, the run in the rack I'll actually uh, tag the video that that's in here or actually in the description as well so you guys could take a look at that and uh, again I just wanted to make sure that you guys you know get to see what exactly I'm doing on my way to my first uh, powerlifting meet as you guys know the other one got cancelled I'm still working on uh, seeing which one is best for me to, to uh, participate in and then I'll let you guys know as soon as possible. So if you guys are liking the videos that I'm bringing or the, this video, please make sure you hit that like button because again, the like button is one of the best ways that I'll know that you guys are actually liking the content that I'm bringing to you. Uh, please uh, comment and let me know what you think I could fix or suggest what I could fix or uh, change up or you know any developmental things anything you guys have to you know let me know I'll try to work on them to make them better because again the you know you guys are what's supporting me and making me feel like you know this is, is, is a cool way to you guys see what I'm doing to uh, come to my first meet so make sure you like comment make sure you subscribe uh, and you know Again, stay on this journey with me. Uh, this is something that I've been working on for since just before Christmas. And I, you know, again, I wanted to try out some powerlifting and see, you know, what works out best for me. And hopefully I could uh, make it somewhere within the year or two. And if not, I'll go into trying uh, the physique and uh, bodybuilding. Again, this is not something that you just do, you know, just pick up and do. This is something that's, uh, you know, it's a it's a progress it's a lifestyle so you know i'm just beginning i'm hoping that you guys are again liking this content that i'm bringing to you please make sure you like comment subscribe make sure you suggest actually don't forget to share as well because again this is the only way that uh, i'll get out there and and hopefully get more support from everybody out there in youtube world and not only youtube world and in all social media make sure you check out my my uh, instagram and my uh snapchat i sometimes i make some funny things on snapchat check out my snapchat make sure you check out my twitter as well because again these are the ways that you guys can see me outside of youtube and again make sure you like comment subscribe suggest and share and always remember at the end of the day flex them guns Bullet.